evening, everyone. So um, my name is Code Primate, and this is Roblox. Um, this is a game that uh, the kids kind of got me going on for a little while. Uh, I made a t-shirt, by the way. You can go and get it. Uh, I don't think I charge anything for it. Um, anyhow, yeah, this is uh, Lumber Tycoon 2. I'm going to go through and just show you a couple of little secrets, uh, a couple of little tips and tricks, and um, we're basically going to speed through it. So... So, there are four main axes. I apologize, I said the wrong one. Um, the the one that you can get right off the bat is the beta axe. And you can find it in the store, in the box. It's on the back shelf, uh, in the blue box. Uh, I might show it to you in a little bit. But this is one of the best axes in the game. All right, The only better axe than that that you currently can get on your own is this one, the Rukirura axe. Anyhow. It's got a faster chopping speed. It does a lot better damage on stuff. Uh, there's only one axe better than that, and that's the Alpha Axe. Now, the Alpha Axe of testing is not available in-game. You can't get it anymore. There's little tips and tricks on it, like how to fall through the floor. I've looked. He's taken it out of the game. Default IO has deprogrammed the Alpha Axe. So, the only way to get it is to find somebody that uh, duplicated a lot of them back in the day, or to buy one from somebody that has it already. Um, don't ask about duplicating. He's fixed most of those as well. So, that's the next one. Um, and the last one, it works only on firewood. It's, it's, it's horrible on any other kind of wood, and it is the Fire Axe. The Fire Axe is the best way to make money. Again, this was a Christmas present that Default IO gave out. You cannot get these in the store. You can't find them in the world. You actually have to go and find somebody that's got some and buy them. So, those are the four main axes. Um, there's also a golden axe, which I can't display here because I am not a friend of default IO. He only gives it to his closest, dearest friends. Um, default IO, if you're watching this, please give me one! Just kidding. Uh, you don't have to give me one. In fact, you don't even have to watch the videos or subscribe if you don't want to, but it'd be fun. Anyhow, those are the four main axes right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick these up and drop off the ones... All right. Now you may be asking, how do I get the best money? Well, the best way to get money is the fire. All right. The fire is going to give you the best return, the ROI. Um, yes, you could do zombie wood. It takes a little while to get over there. It takes a little while to get back. Uh, you could do golden wood. Uh, again, it takes a while to get over there. It takes a while to get it back. Um, I will show you the technique that I use for the firewood and time lapse here. All right, so if you're going to do this, you want to make sure that you get a, a truck and a trailer. If not, you want uh, a utility vehicle and at least two of the, um, the little um, trailers to go behind it. Okay, now that we've arrived at the bottom of the mountain, uh, you're going to unhitch your trailer here. Do not try to go up there without, or with your, your hitch trailer. Uh, another thing I recommend doing is get a different axe and drop off your fire axe right here. If you die trying to go up that mountain, you're going to lose that fire axe. And that thing, it's well more worth than, than 2000 k that I paid for it. But I've got another one, so I'm going to risk it and take it with me. Now we're on top. Here comes the trick part. Okay, when you've got a tree laying down like this, you're going to throw it off this little bend right here. See where this this bends? Our trailer is right down there. So, to do this, you can't just lift it up. It just It's too heavy. So, you're going to look at a pivot point. One point where you're going to pivot this whole tree over the top. Alright, you're going to grab it. And then you're going to hold Shift W. It's going to rotate that whole tree up and over. Once you get it over, boop, just drops down. There you go. Now it's down there so we can go and cut it. I'm going to grab another tree just in case that wasn't enough. So I've got two down there. Ooh, flipped it over. All right, time to head back down. I'm not actually going to start cutting it yet. I'm going to flip it towards my truck. Get it closer over there so we don't have so far to walk. There we go. 
Um, cut right at the joints. Plan out your stacking. Like, you're going to have to stack this wood in here. Might as well make it nice and pretty so you can get as much as you can in there. All right, we are all loaded up. Uh, next tip I have for you is be careful on the way down the mountain because you could get going really fast and not be able to slow down, which you'll start whipping your tail around and start losing wood. And if you're on a slow connection, it could get a little glitchy. So just pay attention to your driving. Uh, by the way, you might not be able to cut these right off the bat because this is the the max two it can take these large logs and just plane them in and I will keep these separate from my other ones so you guys can see the difference Okay, I think we're all set. Let's go sell them off. All right, it is important to keep note that we have 41,796. There we go, 42, or 52,541. So we started out at 41,000, so that's over... 13,000, about 13,000 just for a single run of lava wood. That is not bad. Oh, oh gosh, I'm stuck. Okay, not bad. So that's how to make a lot of money and on a fast ROI, return on investment. How much time are you taking to get your wood? How much time are you taking to bring it back? Um, yeah, that about finishes it. Oh, let's do something. I'm going to show you um, the secret cave. So there's a video out there showing a secret cave. I'll show you where it's at, how to get to it, or an easier way to get to it than what these guys were showing you. Okay, after you get over the bridge, there is a cave. Now, everybody says, oh, it's a secret cave. You can build a thing up to it, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so grab yourself a, a piece of wood, just something. You're going to look right up at it and then mark right where it's at because you're going to have to look down at it later. So that is right at the cave entrance. I'm going to... Push it over just a little bit this way. Right there. All right. Right here is the path to the swamp. This is the second path. Uh, the way you get up there is you have to make a ladder. There we go. That's a... Uh, little bit of a staircase and you just hop up it and there you go and that's how you get up to the swamp path go ahead and grab yourself a golden tree like this. Uh, you should be able to lift these up and move them. Once you get it, just kind of wedge it in there like that. It's 
kind of bouncing a little bit. And there it goes. Sweet. Just walk straight up it. You can use that technique like all over the place, by the way, for getting up to higher places. All right, we're going to walk over here to this edge. Right about here. All right. So here's the trick. What you have to do is you have to walk away from the wall, and as soon as you start falling, back up. So I'm going to walk out, and then I'm going to back up. And I should land right inside that secret cave. Uh, by the way, I don't know if it's a secret cave or it's just something that he left in place, but I do know that I've been inside it. All right, here we go. Forward, then back. Forward, then back. Here we go. Oh, missed it. Okay. Forward, back. Back, 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 back. There we go. And I'm in. Now, as you can see, down this way, there's nothing here. It goes up a ways, but I don't see anything up there. Um, if there is something up there, I don't know how to get to it. The only way that you could get to it is by flying. But there's no, there's no walls to climb on. There's nothing to blow up. Um, people have brought TNT up in here before. It doesn't work. Um, I don't know. Could you, could you possibly set TNT down and then launch yourself up there? I don't know if you could do that without dying. But, yeah. That is the secret cave entrance. And there's no other markings or anything that I can see. It's probably really dark on your screen. Uh, and I don't know if there's... Hold on. Let's see if there's a way... I can turn up the contrast, color, brightness. Oh, there we go. Now you should be able to see. That's a lot lighter than it is on my screen. All right. So, right here's the cave entrance. It's going to be really bright because I've got the contrast way up. Right there, you can see that I'm inside the cave. And all I did is I dropped down from that top part and then jumped into the back. Um, taking a look around, I can't see anything else. But here's what the inside of the cave looks like. And then there's a, a mine shaft going up. And as far as I can tell, there's nothing up there. I've been along the rocks on the top. There's no other in kind of entrances. There's no markings on the wall. Secret cave. Oh, what was that? No, it's nothing. All right, everybody. This has been Heath Plays Roblox uh, Lumber Tycoon 2. Hope you've enjoyed. Like and subscribe down below. Good night.